Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to discuss one of our most frequently asked questions. How do I adjust my blow off valve? Before we begin, it's important to note that this cap is under spring tension. To avoid personal injury, do not fully unscrew it unless you intend to take it apart and service the valve, which we'll go over in a different video. A lot of our customers ask us how to adjust our valves. What's the purpose? Well, the purpose of the adjustment is to fine tune the performance of your valve. A majority of the time, the setting of the valve out of the box will be perfectly fine for most applications. In short, rotating clockwise to the harder setting delays the opening of the valve, and rotating it counterclockwise to the softer setting makes the opening of the valve more responsive. All this to say that in many cases, you may not notice the difference between the valve at its hardest setting or at its softest setting. All right, so we're gonna start with the Type 5 blow off valve family. That's our 38 millimeter piston style. This one here is a V-Port Pro, and this is uh, application specific dual port. So we're gonna start with the V-Port Pro because it probably shows it off the best in terms of a visual reference for adjustment. To adjust the valve, you're not gonna be spinning this fitting here, which a lot of people confuse. This is just a banjo fitting there for convenience of routing a reference line to it. You're gonna grab the entire cap itself and rotate counterclockwise. Now, I'm not gonna go very far, but I'm gonna show you there's two O-rings here. You'll see right here, there's a larger one. That's the actual one that seals the cap against the valve body. And the smaller one here is a visual reference. What that visual reference is, is to tell you that you are past the softest setting. If your valve is set like this, you run the risk of the cap popping off while you're driving, which is not fun. So to get to the softest setting on the valve, go ahead and rotate the cap clockwise until you cover this small O-ring. So you can see right about here, you can't see that smaller O-ring, which means we're at the softest setting. To achieve the factory setting for the valve, make note of where the laser etching is, and we're gonna go one full rotation 360 degrees clockwise from the softest setting. And there you go. So it's roughly the same on this style as well, but the two O-rings are a little bit closer together. Now I don't wanna go any bit further because it's gonna pop off the cap since it's under spring load but you'll see there's the larger O-ring and there's the smaller visual O-ring. So we're gonna go until it's barely covered, just about there, and make note of where the laser etching is so you know where you are. And we're gonna go one full rotation, 360 degrees clockwise to get the factory setting. Now, if you plan to increase the tension of the valve by going to a harder setting, you will eventually bottom out on the threads. And that's the hardest setting. Once you get there, do not torque it any further. It's not gonna go any further. It's only gonna get stuck at that point. We do put anti-seize on the threads to prevent that, but just as a precaution, just make sure to stop once you bottom out. Moving on, we have our compact shorty valve. This is a 28 millimeter piston, and you'll find it in a few other universal valves, but this is probably the most common one you'll see. So it's the same idea. However, on the compact shorties, they don't have the visual reference O-ring like the Type 5 does. So when you rotate it counterclockwise, the entire cap itself that is, you'll eventually see the O-ring right there. I don't wanna go any further because we're pretty close to the edge. If I go any further, the cap will pop off. So now that we see that O-ring, we're gonna rotate it clockwise until that valve is no longer showing that O-ring. So from there, as we did with the Type 5 valve, we're gonna rotate it one full rotation clockwise to put it at factory setting. So last but not least, we have the Big Bubba. This is our 50 millimeter piston style valve. And as you can see, it's very large. It's gonna be pretty easy to kind of interpret what we're looking for here. But same thing, we're gonna rotate this cap counterclockwise. All right, same thing here. You can see there's a larger O-ring and a smaller visual O-ring. So this is the lowest that cap should have been. And this larger O-ring underneath is the one that seals against the cap. So we're gonna rotate this clockwise all the way down until that O-ring is just about covered, right about there. So as a visual reference, we know that the laser etching is facing like this. We're gonna go one full rotation clockwise for it to be at the factory setting. 
Now this is, this is the same thing. If you guys wanted to go to a harder setting, you can go until it bottoms out. There is anti-seize on the threads inside the cap, so it will not seize unless you start torquing it down. So once it stops moving, there's no need to try out any harder. All right, and that's gonna do it for this one, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Also, follow us on social media if you wanna see what we're up to and how we're keeping boost controlled.